AD is on this one system drive. And I just want to drill down. So why do we have two entries when we list the snapshots? So as I said, the first one is the main um, snapshot that covers all of the volumes that are covered in the snapshot. Because everything in my example is on one drive, I only see one secondary, and that's volume specific. If I had the data based on the logs on different drives, I would actually see two entries. I'd see a drive letter for where the database is, for example, C. And maybe if the logs were on D, I'd see number three, D colon, and a snapshot for the logs. If I had the C drive for the system and then D for the database and E for the logs, I'd see a total of four entries. The total snapshot, the system drive, the database drive, and the log drive. So that's all these are, but primarily we focus on the first one. Um, we, we just mount this, this snapshot, but again, we can actually hook in individually and mount individual drives if we did want to. If we want to delete one, we just do that list all and we can delete the index number. So I, I use that top level snapshot GUID and I just say delete and then they're all gone. I must unmount the snapshot before I delete it. So I've not mounted anything yet. So snapshotting just takes a snapshot of the Active Directory. It doesn't actually make it usable. To actually use a snapshot, I actually have to mount it. And what happens is when I mount a snapshot, it actually makes it available as part of the file system. And it makes it available under this, the system drive dollar snap underscore the date of the snapshot. And then the volume. So it was the C drive, for example. And I can mount it using the GUID, or I can actually just mount it via the index number. So I could just say mount one, for example, in this scenario. And we'll actually see it says, okay, I'm mounting this snapshot. And if you want to access it, it's available as this, vol this um, directory. This is how I will actually access the snapshot. And then if I go and look into here, I'll actually see a full file system. I'll see the C drive um, with system, Windows, System32, NTDS, etc., etc. And then I use the unmount command to actually dismount. So I'll do unmount this GUID or unmount one, for example. So if I did mount one, if I actually went and looked at the file system, I'd actually see See, it's a, it's a link and it's the dollar snap of my snapshot. If I want to see all the ones that are mounted, I can also use a list mounted and it will show me the GUID and then show me, notice this is the high level summary, like the sorry overall container of the snapshot. But then it shows me for each volume within that snapshot and it's saying, well, for the C drive, this is how you can access it currently. Okay, so to actually access it then, so currently I've mounted it, so it's now available as part of the file system. The next thing I have to actually do is, well, I want to be able to connect to that using things like ADUs and computers, LDAP, uh, LDP, uh, scripts, ADSI edit. So we actually use this program, DSA main. And what that does is we give it a path to the database, so we point to the NTDS database within our snapshot and tell it a port to use to offer service over. Now, if this is on a domain controller, obviously don't use 389 because 389 is already going to be used. Instead, what you actually want to do is give it another port. Um, a lot of people use 51, 389 um, to actually offer the LDAP service. Um, this is, you're going to run this in the command prompt window that command prompt window is actually the guy owning that DSA main instance and offering that service over the port. If you close that window, it closes the availability of that snapshot via LDAP. And so you do control C when you want to close that access, but obviously don't do it before because it will remove the access.
So to actually use the snapshot, I'm going to show you this in a second. Um, for AD users and computers, we just want to change our domain controller, which we do by the context menu. And we select the specific option where we can type in a name, and we just type in the name of the server, and then that port. So the, the 51.389. For ADSI edit, join the connect, we select the computer and pass the DSA main port with the computer name. LDP, the same thing, scripting. We do exactly the same as we would access via LDAP, but again, we pass a colon for the server and the DSA main pool. So there's really nothing special to have to do with using these things. And we just need to remember to use a different pool. So really the easiest way of seeing this stuff is we'll actually just um, do it. So let me just jump over to my server. Okay, so this is actually a Windows Server 2008 R2 box, but there, there's no real difference between 2008 and 2008 R2. So I'm going to fire up a command window. And we're going to go into NTDS Util. We're going to the snapshot function. And we need to activate the instance NTDS. Now let's just have a quick look. I currently have no snapshots on this box. So I'm going to create a new one. So this is using the VSS writer to go and create, and it's given me the GUI of the snapshot it's created. Now if I do a list all, we can see I have a snapshot, which is that GUID it passed me, index number one, and I have a second instance with its own GUID, which is just the C volume. This is because in my case, my NTDS folder, my logs for Active Directory are all on the C drive. So I don't have different drives containing all of my Active Directory configuration. So let's actually mount this. So I can type in the GUID or I can be really lazy and just mount the actual index number. So notice, even though I mounted the overall snapshot, the actual snapshot it mounts is the C drive, this GUID. And it's told me it's mounted it as C colon slash snap, date, volume, C. So if I actually, I'm going to leave that there for the time being. Well, actually, if I do list mounted, you can actually see it shows me the similar information as before, now it shows me the path to where that guy is actually mounted. If I look in the file system, C drive, notice I now have the C snap folder. If I go into this, this is this is actually showing me that snap, the snapshot of Active Directory. I can go in and look around my Windows. I've got my NTDS, and there's my NTDS database, um, log files, etc. It, it looks like a, a full backup, because again, it's just doing a delta, and it's only taking a snapshot of the things that it cares about. So there's my NTDS. So now, obviously, I, I want to actually connect to it. So this is where we use DSA main. So let's fire up another window. Sorry. Just going to here a second because I want the um, 